welcome back to another one so this is it I think this is the uh, this is a special one this is the beginning of the end for this thing for phase one and I think what we're gonna do I have a bunch of issues uh, that I need to get resolved with the cab the front end is pretty much done I need to do a little bit of tweaking um, the rear end is completely finished uh, and now all we need to do is focus on the cab. We've got some interior work that needs to be done. We've got some wiring that needs to be done. I have to get the floors put in uh, on a more semi-permanent basis. Then we're going to wrap it up with all the body work um, on the exterior. We're going to get these patch panels cut out, put in. Uh, more panels for the door. going to work on the rockers. One thing on both sides here that I need to address is these curves. That's going to be a trick. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna have to get all this stuff worked out. Same thing on the other side. We've got patch panels, rockers, uh, some door issues, uh, and then the back side here. We also got a bunch of these little holes that need to be filled up, welded, ground down. Uh, this stuff is kind of everywhere. I've got it all marked out. But yeah, this is it. This is the gonna be the final push for the end of phase one. Uh, hopefully, once it's all painted and body work's done culminating in a day out at the track we're gonna go out take this thing out for test and tune uh, I just want to run this thing up and down the track a couple times just to get kind of a baseline for what this motor has in it um, what kind of quarter mile we can get out of it just to set as a baseline because phase two later on this summer is gonna be an engine for this thing I'm gonna try and and build a motor for it again that'll be the first time that I've done anything like this, but uh, that's the goal, is to go ahead and build a motor for this thing, a somewhat beefy, racy type street motor, um, and then take it back to the track and see how we did. So that's gonna be phase two, that'll be later this summer, but for now, we need to focus on getting this cab off here, getting everything else addressed, that way it's ready to go, and we can take it out to the cruise nights, we can take it out to the track, and just have a good time. Well, first things first, got to take the doors off. Got to take the steering column out. Have to take the seats out. Got to disconnect the throttle cable. Got to disconnect some fuel lines. Well, there's the seats out of the cab. Uh, I think now we need to go ahead and get the battery out and get all this wiring addressed. Well, let's see if I can do this without shocking myself or burning up the truck. This is a super sketchy. I'm not sure how any of you allowed me to get away with this for so long. All right, got the battery out. As you can see, I just had everything hardwired directly to the battery with these cool Amazon clamps. Same thing with the, the ground side. But one thing that this allowed me to do was it helped me understand how wiring works to a small degree. Everything minus the fuses and the fuse block. I don't know why that was such a, a difficult thing.
to wrap around my head, but for some reason, uh, this really helped me just wiring everything directly, helped me understand how all the wiring is supposed to work in general. Uh, so I have my fuse block in the house right now and I'm kind of getting it ready. I have a couple of uh, that one right here, but I've got a couple of uh, relays that I'm gonna have to wire in as well. So I'm trying to get that all looking good. Um, as I said before, we're probably gonna mount the battery up here. I need to build a tray for it. I don't, maybe in the center, I don't know, somewhere. Um, but I need to build a tray for it and I have an idea about how to hook up the uh, the fuse panel directly to the battery tray uh, so that's what I'm gonna try to work on we'll bring you guys along all right so got all the wires disconnected uh, I have everything conveniently labeled uh, so I know exactly where it goes and whether it's positive or negative ground or hot uh, but yeah that's everything everything should be labeled so I should be able to get it back in order. Uh, I think I do still have the fuel sending unit wires to disconnect and label, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. And then, of course, I've got the uh, mechanical water temp gauge that I've got to unhook from the intake manifold. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's get, we've got to remove the shifter. All right, we're about to take the shifter out, but before I do that, I want to come in here because this is bolted down. Uh, where it's supposed to be. Um, I want to come in here and I want to mark out where I want to put some rivets because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rivet this entire thing um, and then you know at the bottom once we get it nailed down a little bit we'll come back and probably silicone it inside and outside. Um, I want to keep this stuff removable just in case. I might regret it later on but I think I, I just want to keep it removable all of it. Um, I think the rivets should take care of it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here, mark all this stuff, drill some holes in everything. Uh, that way we can come back later. We'll take this off. We'll take the shifter off. We'll take the tunnel off. We'll take the floorboards off. Um, and then we'll go ahead and coat it really good with probably some of that uh, rubber in a can. <laughs> then we'll throw them back in here uh, whenever we get ready. All right, we got two of the pieces out. Uh, we got the, the tunnel piece out and then we've got the passenger side floor uh, and I sprayed them with uh, the flex seal okay well I as we can see got the uh, got the floors uh, painted I still have the top of the tunnel to paint that's no big deal I've got some holes I need to drill in that um, but I got them both painted these two here are just standard paint this one I went ahead and painted uh, with that flex seal I like that a lot better uh, looks better not only that but it's more durable than just the standard spray paint um, so we're going to go ahead and paint uh, these two pieces with the flex seal and get those coated uh, the bottoms are already coated with flex seal that one's coated all the way around but i just like the durability of it i think it'll it'll work out a lot better but we'll get that done uh you should see i got the uh the cab off the frame and that was kind of a nightmare but Thank you, Carol Ann, for helping me out there. It was much appreciated help. Um, the purpose of this, obviously, uh, I have some areas that I have some issues. The rocker panels, uh, I've got this rounded part of the cab that's nice and smashed in a little bit. Uh, and then obviously I've got the uh, issues here that I'm gonna have to cut out. And this is, this is typical on the other side as well. It's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so that's gonna be one of the next tricks that I do. Uh, patch panels for the front, brand new rockers. We'll weld those in, we'll cut them along the edge there and then weld in new panels. Uh, and then on the back, that's gonna be kind of tricky. I don't know how I'm gonna tackle that yet, but we'll try to get you guys in here. I'm gonna try to break this up a little bit and show how I do each one of these. and. We'll just see how it goes. Um, I got the frame painted. There's probably some touch up that I need to do on the bottom, um, but for the most part it's painted, looks good. I think that's gonna be pretty much the entire interior is done uh, for the most part. Got a little bit of touch up and clean up to do, but pretty much everything's done. We'll have to wire everything up to the fuse panel. I got that ready to wire in. 
Uh, we'll walk around to the other side and just show that you know I've got some bodywork issues that need to be done. Same thing, patch panel here, rockers. This is bent pretty bad. Uh, and then the back, obviously, you can tell it's it's dented in pretty bad. So we'll make a cut back here somewhere and try to do some bending and and whatnot. But definitely have some bodywork issues that need to be taken care of. Um, it's got some things going on, some holes that need to be filled. The top isn't too bad. It's rusted, but we'll get there. Just got some holes and things to do. And then obviously we'll have to finish the patch panels on the doors. That can be done relatively easy. This other door, the one that's primered already, is in pretty good shape. I'm going to have to do some, some Bondo work on there, but shouldn't have to weld in any patch panels. Um, again, we're not trying to make this show quality, it's just what it is, an old truck. So then, uh, I got a few things that I want to take care of on the frame. Obviously, we're going to have to paint the frame. Um, I still have some welding that I need to get done on the bottom here, but that's no big deal. Uh, some grinding that needs to be done and whatnot. Uh, but one big issue that I have that I'm going to need to fix is I guess these horns you know I opted to, to put the axle on the front uh, instead of underneath and in hindsight you know hindsight's 2020 whatever but as you can see here uh, this horn is I've only got about a quarter inch of clearance so when I'm driving around and this thing you know hits a pothole or whatever these horns are hitting that that tie rod so I need to go ahead and come in here and cut these horns back and give it some more clearance. Probably cut half inch, maybe even three quarters of an inch out of both sides here and just kind of make them straight. They're, gonna, they're not going to be rounded, they're going to be straight. And it's going to be kind of tricky to, to do that, but that's what I've got to do uh, to make some clearance for these tie rods. I think that's going to give it a better feel on the suspension because right now it's really stiff. It's really a rough ride. It's like a go-kart. But I think that's going to help out. Uh, another thing that I'm kind of looking into afterwards would be uh, shock mounts and how I would do some sort of front uh, shock suspension. I don't know if that's even necessary. I think I'd like to get these these horns cut first and see how it rides, but you know, we'll just see when we get there. Then I'd like to take the calipers off, get those painted. Uh, you know, where I'm at right now with the cab off, I'm looking to finish everything. Just get it completely finished get it done and uh, yeah put it I don't I don't want to have to take this off again so next time we get it on there that's gonna be it but I got a lot to do so let's get into it well we've got the the window taped off we've got the front end just kind of taped off a little bit so that we can keep the firewall area black um, but I've got it ground down just a little bit uh, down to bare metal and there's some spots you know I'll have to address this with some uh, Bondo or whatever uh, but I want to go ahead and paint this area black around here and then we'll go ahead once we get it I think we're gonna primer this whole thing first because uh, it's in pretty good shape um, but then we'll you know when we come back we'll paint this area black we'll tape it off mask this all off that way we'll be able to to paint this blue when we're ready uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get it all primered right now we're just gonna work in sections um, you know and probably work up a little bit and then down and you know I still got to do the rocker panels and the patch panels and all that stuff but little wins at a time I think this is what we're gonna do now all right so we got this area ground down sanded down whatever um, got it primered and you can see that there's there's some pits and stuff I think that's kind of what the primer part is for you can see I don't know if you can see that really well there's some areas here that need to be addressed and I think I feel I don't know anything about this bodywork stuff but I feel like that's kind of what the primer part is all about is to draw out some of the areas that need some work so that shouldn't be a big deal we can go ahead and take care of that but I need to keep moving forward so I think what I'm gonna work on now is this area here this kick panel I don't know what it is Anyway, this panel, so I need to go ahead and cut this out, address this, get that welded back in. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and cut this out and put a patch panel in there. And then we're going to work back and do the rockers, the rocker panels here. I don't know if I could save that or if I should just go ahead and cut it out. Probably be the best policy there. Uh, and then, you know, I got a big issue here. I've been kind of racking my brain on how I'm going to do that, but I think I have a plan. I think I have a bit of a plan. You can see this has like a uh, little ridge right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep that. I don't think so. But uh, I do have a plan on how to get this done. It's going to take a little bit of work. So, but we're going to start up front and then we're going to work our way back. So, let's get started. All right. So we're going to go ahead and try and cut up this side here. There's a little bit of Bondo that I had to do a repair, but we're going to try to cut up this side a little bit and then come across and just get all this stuff out of here. You can see there's a one, like a one inch break underneath here. <clears throat> so I'm going to need to do something uh, about that. Yeah, I'm going to have to bend a piece um, and put it in here, but we'll just see how this works. So we got that piece. I think we should be able to uh, save this and uh, make a piece contour to this. That way we can uh, it'll fit up. We'll get it. I think it'll be all right. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to cut this rocker panel. I don't I can't really see it under here, but it's starting about right here. It's really rotted out really bad. And then the further back here you get the worse it is and then we got an area up here that's just completely rounded out so we're gonna have to replace I think we're gonna cut it about right here we'll keep that I think that's to help the door set in place uh, but we're gonna go ahead and I think cut from here down and around right on this bend here and then we'll form it a little bit we'll form a piece and go up under but that should be fairly easy this should be all fairly easy so I'm gonna, let's go ahead and cut a piece we'll put a we'll break it a little bit and try to form it and get that contour all right so we got that area cut out I uh, still got a little bit more cutting to do disregard that line um, but I got my piece made here and I've got it I got a piece broke on the bottom about three quarters of an inch broke on the bottom um, and this should fit right in here. Um, still need to contour this bottom area a little bit just to kind of give it that curve. Uh, but then we'll go ahead and cut out according to this panel. And then we'll go ahead and patch it in. Got a little bit of a gap there. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. I should be able to knock it in uh, on the inside here. Um, and then got a little tiny gap there, but it really shouldn't be any issue. You can go ahead and fill that with some MIG. Uh, and then dress it all right so we got our piece cut out uh got it put in i got a couple gaps here that's no big deal right there you know we'll knock these in and get it welded but yeah these gaps are no big deal ain't no step for a stepper I need to go ahead and cut this out all the way across. We're going to leave this top part here because it's in fairly good shape. But we need to we need to put this bottom part in. We're just going to run it right. We're just going to cut right along here and uh, put a new piece in on the bottom. Contour it to uh, the bottom of this. 
but in the meantime need to get in here need to fill this up grind it down make it look as sharp as possible uh, with this line got my rocker piece made and kind of tacked in there um, you could probably tell that it's not it's not exactly perfect we can beat some of that out I think with the dolly or whatever but I've actually got I can't see but I've actually got this broke underneath here uh, it's got a couple dents and I've had to hit it with the hammer but it's shaped pretty pretty nice pretty well I've got an area back here pretty good gap that I'm gonna need to fill in this area here um, but let's go ahead and put the door on it and we'll see how close I am trying to keep these lines. All right, this is it with the door on. Now, mind you, this piece is still loose. Um, I took out the rivets that were, uh, that had this panel, kind of took a step and then back up that was riveted, uh, into the rest of the cab. I took those rivets out so this is a little loose and it's going to have to move up a little bit to align with those rivet holes and we'll get some back in there after a bit but you can see I mean it's it's lined up pretty good like I said this needs to come in and up a little bit so it's actually going to line up with the door really nice and the door kind of wiggly as well needs to go up kind of sags uh, I think that's what this thing here is for so with the door open, you can see what I'm talking about here. This, these holes are for rivets or screws or something, and they don't quite line up. It actually needs to come up a little bit. So that should help align the door and get that take that gap out of the bottom. Um, but I've got to make sure to do that. But in the meantime, I went ahead and ground all this down. I'm go ahead and put some there's some area that need to be cut out and pretty bad right there it needs to be cut out I need to put a piece in over here but everything lines up pretty good I'm pretty happy with that we'll get some pieces made just to kind of tack in here we'll see how well it all fits and it should line up pretty good just a few spots no big deal um, actually gonna come out pretty good I think I have not gotten to do any bondo work down there which is gonna be the most significant area by far but it should be relatively easy it's manageable I think and I've got most of the body work the bondo stuff done um, around the window this is where I'm gonna try to focus on painting getting finished uh, just so I can get some stuff done instead of doing the whole thing like I should all at once. But this whole thing is wrong from the get-go, so I'm not too worried about doing it right. And I've been messing with these drip rails, and they were gnarly. I should have got a really good picture of them before, but they uh, they were pretty bad. But I was able to, I mean, you can see a little bit of bow in them. But I think compared to what it was, it's a lot better 
way, way, way better. I think it's going to look a little bit better. You'll be able to see some of the dents and whatnot, but same thing on this side. The drip rails were really bad right down here. And then uh, you can see right here, I kind of scuffed up some of that Bondo. I'll have to take care of that. But it's a little gnarled up right there, but I think it'll work. You know, it'll still show a few things. Give it some character, I guess. But all the way down, okay. I've been working on this probably the past 15 minutes, and I think it came out pretty good. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. But, yeah, I'll come back, sand it down after I get it primered. And, uh... Look for any defects, anything that we need to fix, and uh, then I'll go ahead and paint it blue, prep it and paint it blue. But I was just kind of standing here, and I was looking at it, just kind of taking it all in. How far I've come and everything, you can see the doors back there, those are done, but I just, there's so much more to go. Um, I've only got maybe, I don't know, I'd say 15% of this whole cab done. And, you know, it's just taken so long and so much effort to get just to this point um, it's overwhelming you know I've never this is something that I've never done before I don't know if you guys have experience doing this or what but it's just a it's a monumental task and it's been pretty difficult so it's taken a lot of time but every time I come out here and mess with it you know I learn something new learn how to sand it or how not to sand it or how to paint it or apply Bondo or, or whatever the case just to smooth it out and get it more flat. And I think it's come out pretty well. I mean, there's gonna be some imperfections in it. There's gonna be some areas that I've missed, most likely. This is probably one right here. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, just to get to this point has been, it's been a journey and it's hard. There is nothing easy about any of this. It's 102 degrees out here today. It's 105 in the shop. Um, you know, I've been out here for probably two hours just standing on this thing, getting it prepped and ready. And, man, it's just, it's a lot of work. But it's paying off, and I'm learning something every single time I come out here. So, it's taking me some time, but we're finally getting there. And I'm excited to get this primer. I'm excited to move on with other parts of the cab. I uh, still haven't done the uh, kick panel down here. I still need to cut that out and put in a patch panel. The rockers, uh, I need to do the back corners, both back corners. Um got the kick panel done down here I've got a rocker made I still need to finish welding it down here uh, but then I still you know I have this back corner to do and then there's dents and I mean there's warpage and stuff all in the back of this cab and you know the, the higher up you get the better it is but there's still holes that need to be filled and there's some areas like some pretty good sized dents um, in the top for the most part it's, it's in pretty good shape um, you know but yeah, I don't know, I'd say this is only about 15% and I've still got, you know, that 85% to go on this whole thing. So it's just, it's been a journey, it's been a trip, but I tell you what, every moment's been absolutely worth it. It's been a joy to work on this thing and to share it with anybody who's watching, you know, so I just want to say thank you uh, for putting in the time and just watching my journey with me. Uh, hopefully it inspires you to, to pick up some tools, get out in your garage and, and work on your own car, truck, or whatever project you have going on. Maybe you need to build a bunk bed, I don't know. But just get out there and do it. It's been fun. <laughs>